Hey, my name's Mike Mills. I'm from Buffalo Outdoor Center in Ponca, Arkansas. Today, I'm gonna to give you some tips about how not to turn over. It really helps if you understand what turns a canoe over. It's basically the center of gravity. So when you're sitting in a seat, your center of gravity is basically at that seat. The number one thing you can do to not turn over is lower your center of gravity. And you do that by kneeling. Today's canoes are actually made with a little bit higher seat so that you can fold your feet back underneath that seat. Kneeling lowers your center of gravity and is the number one thing you can do to keep from turning over. Okay, I can hear you now. I gotta get that on my knees. I gotta be on my knees all day long. I've got a bum knee, I can't do that. Wah, wah, wah. There's a simple solution. Knee pads. At any sporting goods, these are made for volleyball players. They're inexpensive, they fit on almost anybody. If you rent a wetsuit, wetsuit already has built-in knee pads. And at last resort, just an old piece of insulite that you can put down on the floor and kneel on it. It even helps if you bring a, a roll of duct tape and tape that in place so that it's stationary, it doesn't move. Those are the solutions to being comfortable while you're kneeling. It's not an uncomfortable position. You can actually lean back against the seat. It will lower your center of gravity and keep you from turning over. Many times you see people turning over when they either get in or get out of a canoe. There's a simple rule here. Draw a line from the bow to the stern and that's a tightrope. So you're trying to balance on that tightrope. The best way to do it is with three-point contact. So when you step into the canoe, you step directly to the center, which is on that tight rope. You don't step to the side or the outside because that's when you're going to turn over. You step directly to the center and then three points of contact. On your knees for a lower center of gravity and you're ready to go. You didn't turn over. Many times when you're floating down the river, you will come upon obstacles. Rocks in the middle of the river, limbs hanging out over the edge of the river. There's a couple of rules here. Number one, if it's above the canoe, don't touch it. Try not to uh, push off from it. Uh, that, that changes your center of gravity and will make it easier for you to turn over. So if a limb or something is coming at you, simply get lower in the canoe, duck and try to let the limb go over you. Now, if you find yourself against an object in the river, there's a simple rule here, lean downstream. Now that's a tougher one. If you hit an obstacle, you gotta lean downstream. And if the current's strong, you gotta lean further. That keeps you from turning over to the upstream side. Think about it. Almost every canoe you ever see turn over, turns over to the upstream side. So lean downstream if you come against an obstacle. We hope that these few simple tips will help you in your next canoe trip down the Buffalo National River. So let's go paddling.